Welcome to the Morning Offering with Father Kirby, your daily call to prayer. Pray with us every day right here on the podcast and in your inbox. Learn more at morningoffering.com. Greetings, friends. Welcome to the Morning Offering with Father Kirby. Today is Tuesday, December 12th, and today I'd like to talk about the last and the least. But first, let's pray together. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. O oh, Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day for all the intentions of your sacred heart in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world for the salvation of souls, the reparation of sins, the reunion of all Christians, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father this month. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, happy feast day, friends. And to those of us in the Western Hemisphere, we especially turn to Our Lady, since Our Lady of Guadalupe is the patroness of the Americas. So again, we ask for her intercession. Yeah, when we look at the story of Our Lady of Guadalupe and Juan Diego, we see a powerful spiritual truth. We see it in the scriptures. We see it throughout salvation history. We see it in all the apparitions of Our Lady throughout the generations. Namely, that when Our Lady appears, she goes to the last and the least. She goes to the ones that no one would expect her to appear to. She goes to the ones who are on the peripheries. She goes to those that humanity has discarded. She goes to the ones that people consider to be insignificant, as oftentimes those are the ones that Our Lady goes to. She goes to them. She she passes on her message to them. In large part, she goes to the humble in order to precisely humble the proud. But she also goes to the humble of the world because they have open hearts. They're willing to listen to what Our Lady says. And so I think in our own spiritual lives, as we honor this Feast of Our Lady Guadalupe, we can ask ourselves, are we seeking in our own lives to be the last and the least? Are we seeking to show that humility that leaves our hearts open, that can hear when Our Lady wants to speak or when God wants to move us or give us an impulse to to something good? Are, Are we seeking to have that posture of openness Juan Diego had that, and Our Lady was able to give him powerful messages and that sacred tilma that revealed her as mother and as virgin. Well, the Lord has similar things he'd like to say to us in our lives, in our vocations. Every day, God's providence is seeking to move and to use us as instruments of peace and reconciliation, hope and encouragement to one another. But we have to be willing to be the last and the least. We have to have the humility so we can hear God, trust him, and then serve as his messenger. So on this Feast of Guadalupe, let's ask all all of us for for greater humility. Let's look at Juan Diego and ask for his intercession. As we turn to Our Lady, Virgin and Mother, and ask her to help us to love and serve the Lord Jesus more deeply. Those are our thoughts for today, dear friends. I want to thank you for joining me. I encourage you to keep fighting the good fight. And remember, you can receive daily spiritual encouragement sent right to your inbox when you subscribe to The Morning Offering at morningoffering.com. God bless you. Thanks for listening today. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. The Morning Offering with Father Kirby is a production of Good Catholic, the media division of The Catholic Company. For more faith-filled podcasts and videos, visit goodcatholic.com.